Hi and welcome to the Adam Shop channel on YouTube and I'm your host Mohamed Azam and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the iOS 5 feature of storyboards. Okay, so storyboard basically allows you to quickly create the design, the navigation part of your iOS application, your iPhone or iPad application. Okay, so you don't have to use the navigation controllers anymore. So here we go. Uh, this is the Xcode 4.2. iOS 5 is already installed. And then when I say uh, create a new project, it gives me single view application. So I'm just going to say single view. Uh, the name is learning storyboards. Okay. And this will be checked like use storyboard. Okay. So this will give you the opportunity to create a storyboard. And I'm going to create this project. So here we go. Let me expand that. One thing you will notice is there there are no NIP files, NIB, okay, XIB file. There are no NIP files, um, and there's a storyboard. So let's actually open the storyboard uh, file and see what it uh, what it has. And you'll see that this is a design, kind of like a design surface, which allows you to uh, basically create the flow of your application. Okay, so if I run this right now, you'll see that it will uh, come up with like a default, which is this one, uh, view with nothing, and the view controller that is attached to it is a view controller dot H. Let me just drag it over here. Here we go. So it's loading right now. I think it's still loading. Okay. And here we go. So we get this view. All right. So if you want to navigate the view, if you want to create a different, maybe a different view and um, so if you want to create a different view and set that as a start view, what we're going to do is we, I'm just going to search for uh, let me actually resize this because I know you cannot really see this. Here we go. That might work. Let's see. Okay. So I'm just going to say over here, let's say UI table view. Let's say that your application starts with a UI table view. Okay. So I'm just going to uh, add a UI table view controller. And here we go. So it's added. I can... Uh, click the negative sign over here to zoom out and see how it uh, you know how it looks from uh, uh, eagle view or bird's eye view or whatever you want to say it and uh, you can just click the equals to sign to zoom into again now for a ui table the ui table view you also want a navigation controller so i'm just going to select this uh, the whole thing and go to editor embed in navigation controller so here we go so we get a navigation controller and you also want the ui table view controller or the ui table view the view that we just generated to be the initial view so i'm just going to select the is initial view and you can see this arrow being added which means that this is the initial view and there's a connection between the navigation controller and if you see the connection it's between you know this navigation control uh, the navigation the bar will appear actually over here and you can change it so this is a table view uh, you can say over here okay, I don't know customers okay and let's if I run it now you will see that it won't run the default view but it will run the my own view okay but the cool thing is that how easily you can do some navigation. Let's say you want to add a customer. Okay, so what is this? Uh, tab uh, the toolbar button. Tab bar. What is that called? The button. Bar button item. Okay, so let's actually add that right over here. And identifier. Let's say add it's because we're adding a adding a customer right now you want that when you click over here it will go to a add customers view all right so what we are going to do is let's say a negative sign and I'm going to say over here UI table view 
controller. It's going to add one UI table view controller. And again, I'm going to go over there and embed in the navigation controller. Okay. And then when the button is clicked, what we want to do is to go to this particular navigation controller. So press down, select this, uh, the button, and I press down the command key and then, is it the command key? Okay, let's see. Control key, sorry. And, and then just make a, uh, you know, link between the plus button and the navigation controller uh, for the add uh, customer and then it's going to ask you push model or custom I'm just going to say uh, model so there's a link now All right let's say save and just to differentiate between the customers and the add customers just going to say over here I don't know add customer let's run this again So I'm clicking the plus sign and you can see that I immediately went to the add customer. So it's pretty cool. I mean, we didn't actually type a single line of code and how quickly we added navigation to our, uh, you know, to our pages or to our views. One click and drag and drop and then you are now over here. It also gives you a much better idea of what's going on because you can say you can press a negative key I mean the negative uh, sign or the zoom out and see what's going on over here okay I do actually uh, recommend that you have a very large monitor because you know once your application gets complicated it's not going to fit properly so just drag this window out uh, and then basically like this and drag it onto a uh, you know different screen you'll have a much better idea and that's pretty much it. That is how you use it. Now, one more thing that they added is the ability to do static cells. So right, right now you have prototype cells, which um, which basically allows you to, you know, which allows you to see what's going on, basically. All right. So anything, this, anything you want to do to create the uh, the cell the custom cell you can actually do it over here okay let me see uh, if there is dynamic content dynamic properties now this is for the uh, the table property we are just going to set it to static and you can see that it moved it changed into this uh, let me see how many sections section ones how about this section two so two sections static cell basically means that you can add anything you want over here and it will be for the static display what we can add well we can add like a, a UI text field I'm just gonna go over here and add a text field and uh, here we go you can zoom uh, you can you know and and you can write like the first name enter first name and the last name of the user first name there we go okay so this is a basic purpose of uh, the uh, static cells that it allows you to add uh, different sections and then you can say you can gather this data like first name and last name and you can have a button somewhere over here I guess which will be saving okay so let's let's actually add a button uh, tab bar button and we can uh, also assign it a custom let's say save there we go okay and I think you will also need a last name so this is UI text field so you can see how easy uh, in iOS 5 how e easy it is that using storyboarding uh, you don't have to type any code and you can uh, you can create a navigation and the flow of the application so easily and so much so much faster okay so that's pretty much for this video and in the next video I'm going to cover that how you can pass uh, data between different uh, you know between storyboard segways and um, and basically save the data uh, segway this is called segway and this is basically used to pass the data. 
okay the relationships hope you like it thank you very much if you are interested in donating to uh, to my channel donations are always appreciated take PayPal donations you can send the donations to adamsharp at gmail.com thank you very much and have a good day